Hello and welcome. I'm Jeff, your friendly neighborhood driver, and I'm here to bring you an exciting update to our fleet. We have traded in our Sprinter van for something very special, but first let's do a quick reminder on what we already have. This is our six passenger Sienna hybrid. It gets 36 miles per gallon. We switched from a gas Sienna over two years ago and have saved thousands in fuel ever since. As our former medical car, it has racked up over 34,000 miles, ferrying our residents in safety and comfort. This is a leased vehicle and will be returned in December of this year. This is our 14 passenger Chevy Arbok bus. We have had this bus for 13 years and it is used for large outings and shopping. It is ADA accessible with two wheelchair positions, a large ramp and airbag suspension to lower down for easy entry. This is our 10 passenger Sprinter. Sadly, our Sprinter has not gotten much use over the years. It only has 8,000 miles and six years of ownership. Simply put, it really isn't fit for a retirement community. Places like the Hearthstone require a specialty vehicles that allow everyone to use them, regardless of their mobility. Our Sprinter is simply too big, too tall, and too hard to get into. If you have limited mobility, it may as well look like this. Also, our Sprinter is a diesel that struggles to break 16 miles per gallon. And while diesels get slightly better fuel economy than gas engines, their exhaust is far dirtier. In fact, the particulates in it have been proven to cause cancer. Now the one upside to our Sprinter is that it has held its residual value. We negotiated a high trade-in value which allowed us to make a new purchase. When we initially began discussing a new vehicle, we wanted one that could do everything. Specifically, we needed a vehicle that could provide ease of entry for our residents, provide excellent fuel economy to save money and the environment, and have four-wheel drive for our emergency weather events. Unfortunately, the better a vehicle is in harsh weather, the worse it is for ease of entry and fuel economy. It seemed like no such vehicle existed until I found the Tesla Model X. With its airbag suspension, it can lower itself to make getting in and out a breeze, and when needed, raise itself up to bound over snowdrifts. It gets the electric equivalent of 100 miles per gallon and requires almost no maintenance, both of which will save us thousands in the coming years. Now these vehicles are normally quite expensive, which is why we purchased a used 2020 with only 32,000 miles. This is now going to become our primary medical car, and I cannot wait to share it with you. So that's our fleet. We traded in our Sprinter for a Tesla. I can already feel the environment thanking us. Going forward, the Tesla will be our primary medical car. The Sienna will be our backup vehicle and used for shuttles when staffing allows. And our bus will continue to take us on outings. If you have any suggestions on the future of our fleet, please feel free to email, call, or leave a note on my desk. I am proud to work for the Hearthstone, and I want to provide the best possible transportation for all of the residents that call this home.